Hello, brothers and sisters. It's time we continue on again. Well, right, brothers and sisters. Down we go, deeper than we'd had gone already. Yes. Anyway, let's, uh... Well, we've already lost one character. One second, you're okay. trying to cross me. Best believe me. Following second, you're dead. I killed vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? He makes a really good point. Why would he be afraid of you? Like a way through. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? Can we talk about something else, please? I hear you. Like what? Tell me what your home's like. <laughs> home? Where do I start? No money, no work. No future. Kids killing each other for a fucking nickel. Rich getting richer, poor getting poor. That's home. For me, at least. It's becoming like that everywhere, it seems. Well, all said and done, I'd rather be there than stuck here in this hell. Me and you both. I remember right, there's something over here. Aha, there it is. I mean, I already got it, but still. Spear throw. I assume that's something he's gonna automatically do, because that was something I did as a, when I played as him. So. I assume I'll be playing as Jason, and Selim will save thing me. you're gonna do right. when we get out of here? Hold my son. Ah, lovely. R32. At least it wasn't R34, am I right? Am I thinking of the right number? Yeah, I think I'm thinking of the right number. Time for another episode. p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? 
Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. That sounds uh, spooky. All right. You seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice. Your friend Nick? Yep. I like him. Well, he likes you too. He was good to me. Circumstance. Any other day, he'd put one between your eyes. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. I say we get the fuck out of here. Sounds like it. Can I look at the thing's body? Well, guess not. You think you could be able to, but oh well. Really, out of all of them, this is still my favorite game. <laughs> move directly towards the giant hole in the floor. I don't know. I might fall in. I don't know. Let's keep on moving then, shall we? Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60-year-old explosive in your bag, be my guest. Let's 
60. Those can fool yeah, I guess so. close, right? Every time you say something smart, you follow it with something dumb. Okay, that was a little rude, but now we found Pazuzu. And words. Autopsy you? notes. I'm gonna shut up so I can read. Are, they feed on blood. I kind of already knew that. Not just blood, though. Adrenaline. Ugh. They want their prey scared before they make the kill. So that's why they do all the jumping around and loud screaming. Well, a good job, then. Alright, so autopsy notes. Specimen contains an inordinate amount of blood in its stomach. Analysis blood samples show high density of adrenaline. Does the organism feed on fear? Instills fear in its victims, gets adrenaline pumping, then attacks. Makes sense. Just like me. Whoa. Uh, the cell of... Oh, I guess she's in here, eh? Good to see ya. I didn't see her just sitting there before. Do you want to hear a joke? A thing. Ooh, like another one. First of January, 1947, 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. Very spooky. Put the paper down. There you go. I hate how tur slow it turns, though. That's one of my few grievances with this. Okay, let's move this paper. And... Patient history, Mary. 1930, temp and pulse a dangerously high over 110, 101 Fahrenheit and 170 BPM. Subject mostly unconscious, occasionally wakes up screaming, sweating, sickness continues, saline supply low, detected movement in under the skin of the abdomen, around the location of the adrenal glands, suggests exploratory surgery, but I fear M might not survive the operation. 2010? Oh, that might be 1930. You know, like in terms of hours. 1921. And that's 2010, so that is... Uh, so that's four hours from midnight. Temp is 101.5 Fahrenheit. Subject weakening, more movement under the sun. Skin seems parasitic organism. Time of death, thir 2013. Yes, I understand now. The first time I played this, I was so confused. Like, 2013? Isn't this game based in, like, 2002? Or 3? A coin? Oh, Black Onyx. Catalog label posted to it. The ancients believed the black onyx represented eclipse. The Arcadians believed the evil demons haunted the dark. I mean, it makes sense if giant horrifying demons lived underneath you and came out in the dark. I'd be quite scared of that, too. Anyway, let's move on. It's evidence. 
Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. You can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? You didn't make it. I was wrong to judge you. You're all right. Most people are good. have to realize that before they're gone. Place a jack in the box. Come on. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. Are you crazy? If those vampires come from anywhere down there, you really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies, you cannot seem to bury the hatchet. 
unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. I really hope I got that frame right there. Three weeks previously, Camp Slayer. Again? Jesus, Eric, how many times? This is me. This is my way of dealing with it, and I'm done trying to explain it to you. Yes! Yes, this is my life now, and I'll live it on my terms. Wait, what, what did you just say? Uh, bad time? Yeah, it's a real fucking bad time. I'm just dropping off the files you requested. Not now. I said not now. Well, I, I didn't mean to upset you. It's not you. Uh, it seems like out here we're, we're all running away from something. I know I am. You were caught up in that mess at the checkpoint shot that woman no, it's okay you can talk to me it's just everyone seems to have an opinion on it I'm dealing with it in my own way are you you got your own problems and whoever that was that sounded like a, a gold medal asshole <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, you'll deal with it. I'll say the word, and I'll handle it for you. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Right. Eric. It's malfunctioning. Colonel, you gotta go! You too, Nick, you're coming with us! Come on, Ray! Why can't he run? I don't like that.
Yeah, homie. Wait, uh oh, it's probably gonna be a quick time. Jesus. I made it for once, thank you. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Thank me later. Let's move out. I guess it's not safe to go to the big, big boom, huh? You think that thing's gone? Looked like it went down that tunnel. He's alive. Jason's alive. Maybe things aren't going so badly after all. Back there, oh. Thanks for looking out for me. All right, let's find Kolchak. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Let's go. It's time. It's absolutely not the time. You can't keep playing this, man. Nick, listen. No, 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 you listen. If I get killed down here, I want to know I stood up like a real man, not some chump. Rachel, you... You said you tell him when the time was right. I need you to tell him now. Tell him the truth. That ring on your finger don't mean anything anymore. Oh, this is a stressful situation, huh? Good time for a cigarette, maybe, Nick? Oh, but wait, you don't have a lighter, do you? Eric. You took me for a fool. Well, guess what? This fool figured it out. Roll it out for us. Now? Right fucking now? Yes, now. We may not have another chance. Fine. Eric, you and I, we had something very special, but that was a long time ago. Him? You're choosing him. This isn't about choosing. It's about knowing what's best for me. I was on my way. I was making a new life for myself. But life has a way about it. Today, I've seen the same man I fell for all those years ago. When you held on to that rope, I knew you would always be there for me. I want to try us again. Yeah, but Rachel, we can make it work. I'll cherish what we had, but things have changed. If I didn't give you a chance, I'd always regret it. Don't say another word. I'm sorry I came to this. I understand. Colonel? Ma'am? Let's go find Kolchak. Thank you. Seen some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them or? Don't need to be a smart ass. Let's move. Indeed. Let's move over here and look at this. 
It's a book. Do I get to read it? I get to read the book. I get to read the book. I get to read the book. Mary Fine. 29th of November. Mary Fines of the Temple confirm our hypotheses. That the temple was used for sacrifice. We know that a century long drought affected the Akkadian Empire. The same dry spell affected the Old Kingdom in Egypt. The drought caused the abandonment of many cities across Mesopotamia and drew the Gutian barbarian tribes down from the mountains to the plains bringing them into conflict with the Gavians. In this temple, we see evidence of an increasing desperate attempt to turn the tides by appealing to the gods. Related finds are six Black Onyx Mesopotamia era three period. Onyx stones were symbolic of negative energy and of calamity, perhaps due to the belief that evil Udga Ud Ud demons inhabited the earth. R19, Holed Stone, Mesopotamian Ur Third Period. The stone shows figures praying towards the eclipse combined with the R6. The piece portrays an eclipse that. Sage is a disaster. Oh, so that means that rock and the thing were meant to go together? So why are they so far apart then? I found that thing way back in the temple. Weird. There we go, that's how you turn the page. R32 Visual Tablet. Undated Akkadian. This clay tablet displays a scene of religious ritual. A bull headdress worn by the priest indicates a human sacrifice of acolytes. Perhaps to read a read the future in the entrails. This suggests that the killings were beyond just Gutian captives. R73 Battle Tablets. Clay tablets depicting a battle scene. The headpiece of the Akkadian warriors suggests the battle was between Akkadians and Gutians. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I enjoy reading. But... Oh. We could keep going. Let's keep going, because I think... This light is not going to help much. But I think, for the most part, this area is not bad. Like, it's not evil. But there is a lot of cool stuff. Like, this person. The hole in the heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to talk about that, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, a pocket watch. How posh. It looks like it's got a funny symbol on it. Mary oh. Hodgson? Mary Hodgson. His wife, maybe? How? There is no words on that. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal healing her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. Okay, so that means the lady we found way earlier with the tin peg in her was that lady. Uh-oh, okay, that's not good, then. Because if that's right, that would entail that these monsters, right? 
the infected can go long periods of time without fully turning. I mean, we could finish this whole game with her still fine, and then she's going to start turning evil on us. We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. Tough fucking gig. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I... We were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered... I ordered for her to stop. Loud and clear. But she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh... I had to make a call. Nick... He shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. This, this bullshit, I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? Those towers were hit. I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her. And we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, 
What the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. What do you have in mind? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Oorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey, whatever happens out there, I got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. Stay close. Thank you all for watching. Let's be the end for today. I think so. The question is, where the hell are they? You spin me right round, bubble right round, like a record baby, right round, right round. Goodbye. I said goodbye, so that means get off of this episode.